My name is Chloe Hilliard, and I'm from here, Brooklyn, New York. I had no intention of becoming a stand-up comedian. I was a journalist, a reporter, an editor, and I stopped when I realized people don't read. My parents tried to persuade me from going full-time into comedy. My dad would keep suggesting that I take the exam to be a cop or a firefighter. And I'm like, I don't care about saving lives. I want to go on and talk about my boobs on stage. I don't talk about my boobs on stage, but they're great boobs, though. I started comedy late in life. I didn't know anything about the industry. I just knew how to navigate corporate environments, and so I would come into comedy spaces like, hi, my name is Chloe, nice to meet you, here's my business card. And they'd be like, get the out of my face, lady. And I was like, got it. Comedy is all about room for improvement. I'm striving for the place where I know that this is good, but it can always be better. Every single night I get on stage, I show up for work, and I get an immediate reaction, which gives me an understanding of whether I'm killing it or I need to kill myself. Clap your hands, everybody, for Chloe Hilliard! What's up? I live with a millennial. Pray for me. <laughs> My brother is 15 years younger than me. He moved in with me. Every day, I wish I dropped him. <laughs> Every day, he makes me feel like I'm a bad person, right? He's always checking me about things that I didn't know were now out of vogue. One day, he walks in, we're having a conversation. He was like, I'm going to this bar around the corner, and I know that this bar is a gay bar. So I was like, oh, look at you going to a gay bar that's so progressive. He goes, Chloe, uh-uh, uh-uh, we don't, we don't say gay anymore. We say queer. Now. I feel like an old lady, because I grew up with queer being a derogatory term. You didn't call somebody queer unless she was ready to fight. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled. Because <laughs> I'm looking at my 23-year-old millennial brother like, where did you broke mother get the PR budget? <laughs> to spin this word around, do you understand? Another day, he walks into the living room. He has on a, a peach T-shirt. He goes, Chloe, what do you think about this shirt? Is it too feminine? I'm like, no, it's a regular peach T-shirt. He goes, trick question, gender's fluid. Get 